whenever you buy a bike ride that bike without any accessories for at least 1000 to 2000 kilometers and know the feel of the bike how it is hey everyone welcome back to ride by vip this is vipin fourth topic is all about the accessories which i have on my bike and even generic accessories which people tend to buy on each bikes i just want to talk a bit about accessories are they really necessary or you can skip them out based on my experience uh, i'll be sharing what all accessories i felt useful and what all accessories i felt are not really necessary don't need you can skip spending money on them so first i'll go through about the accessories which i have on my bike and next i'll um, share in a generic way i know i took up the 100 days challenge uh, on which i was able to upload day one and day two properly day three was delayed by one day and the fourth one fourth topic day four is delayed by almost a one and a half week i am not able to keep up the challenge i can make it as a topic wise this is the fourth topic first topic was about the journey of my bike second topic about the riding gears which i own and use of them and recommendations from me third one third one was all about the training on road and off road trainings the fourth one as i told you it's about the accessories for the bike i bought 13 accessories for my bike engine guard and crash guard from hepco baker which is on the costlier side so it costed me around 20k combined and third one is the bark busters handguard the vps plastic this costed me around 9300 cigarette lighting port charger i for forgot the company name put the name in the screen while editing but yeah uh, the main reason i bought the cigarette lighting port apart from the usb direct usb ones is because i can use it for uh, uh, tire pressure um, system also fifth one is i have a taller visor wind visor which i bought it from mad accessories that was 2300 i guess there is a difference when you use it on highway but for cities i like it i like the stock one so whenever i go on a longer ride i try to remove this and put that one and when i am back and, and i'm riding in the city i use a stock one sixth one is a charger mobile sorry mobile mount from bobo gears i just bought just a mobile mount without any charger in it because i already have the cigarette lighting board charger rather this looks more compact and it sits over here in this beside the dash so i feel this as more comfortable next up is bobo gears uh, gopro mount so this also i bought it from bobo gears uh, i'm i don't remember the price i'll put it in the screen next one important one is uh, handlebar risers these i bought it from um, i forgot the name these are compact uh, uh, rather than going for other rises which i didn't feel that much of comfortable because it's respect to handlebar so i want a uh, safer one which is tried and tested so even though this one is a bit costly i went ahead with that next up is bash plate bash plate i bought it from bmw i had to fabricate it uh, the bash plate directly won't fit in the whatever comes from the bmw so you have to fabricate it either you have to buy the hepco baker crash guard itself sorry bash plate itself but any others if you buy also you have to fabricate and that's about the ones which are visible over here next up is uh, yeah foot pegs the extended foot pegs uh, the wider foot pegs not the extended one wider foot pegs um, which is from um, which is from mad accessories again and the next one is side stand shoe which is from viatera i feel that's the best quality you get in the market apart from the normal other local ones i am really happy about it i fixed it when i bought the bike till now i don't have any issues from it it's quite sturdy and it's quite helpful 
and next up is i have a top box uh, which i bought it for my luggage setup which is from some vendor i don't remember the name a cute small one you might have seen in all my pictures or even other videos if you have not seen go check out in my instagram id right by vip you might see the picture there is a plate for that uh, which is mounted on the tail rack i didn't put any holes on the tail rack i just put uh, the holes as required on the plate and i fixed it myself there was one another i forgot yeah i guess radiator grill which is again i bought it locally because when you pressure wash and all um, there are chances of damaging the radiator grill sorry radiator so it's always better to and also even the chipping stones so it's always recommended to put a grill next one is front forks cover uh, front suspension i bought a cover to it um, from lazy ass bikers uh, it's from krega company so it's just a velcro cover leather velcro cover with a zip tie it basically protects your front shocks from leaking the fork oil or breaking the fork seals because of the dust or the mud the off roads and all which you go it helps you protect so that is also highly recommended i guess i covered all of them so those are the accessories which i have on my bike accessories i didn't buy it like all in one go and install them I bought one by one whichever I felt is really necessary the first accessories which I got was three the engine guard crash guard and also the bark busters um, which I felt is really necessary later on I added one by one other things wind visor and all I thought rather than going with a brand it's better to go with the local ones and I use it only on highways and I don't have any issues with that these I would recommend don't go for the replicas the bark buster replicas you get in the market for cheaper price like 2000-3000 and off I won't recommend you buying those rather buy genuine bark busters they are on the costlier side but it's totally worth it when you drop your bike uh, either on during the travel there are chances of breaking the clutch or the brake in such cases bark buster will really save you a day so it's really recommended you use them the replica ones as in when you fall i have seen on the other bikers i mean i have seen with one or one other biker who came for the gs experience uh, he fell during the exercise of parallel logs and it bent off broke the clutch so what is the use of buying such local stuff when they are not of good use and the charger i would recommend go ahead with this cigarette lighting port charger because it is kind of a multi-purpose use and you will not drain your battery also in case you forget to have there is no jungle of having a switch and all and i'll not recommend increase the weight of the handlebar by adding many stuff even i want to remove this gopro mount i'll i'm planning to remove it and put it to the crash bar or somewhere else as i told uh, the set of accessories i'm gonna show on my bike the hepco baker engine guard and as well as crash guard so which covers the plastic uh, side of the tank and this covers the engine part of it this can be separately mounted on top of it you can mount the crash guard so that's one thing and the extended foot pegs from mad accessories this this one and also this is a side sorry side stand shoe which is from bayatera so as you can see yeah this is from bayatera it's really sturdy and good and this is a bash plate which i got from the bmw it really covers the lower part of the engine and because of this echo baker engine guard it has to be it had to be little fabricated so if, as you can see this part has been really fabricated uh, on the rear side and the next accessory is uh, bark busters uh, hand guards with vps plastic black one um, it's really sturdy as i told and next up is i have wind visor uh, taller wind visor from a local vendor but in cities i prefer to use this yeah and uh, these are the 
handlebar risers from Wonder Lynch. Next up, this is mobile mount from Bobo Gear. This is a GoPro mount. Uh, it has an additional accessory which is at home. I'm planning to remove this because I am no longer using this one after I bought my Insta360. I most probably will remove this. And uh, this is a cigarette lighting port charger which I have. It comes with a rubber like this to cover. That's how the bike looks. And yeah, uh, the next accessory which I told is the cover for the shocks. These are from Krega and the radiator grill. So last but not least, the top box uh, tail uh, sorry uh, plate which is attached to the uh, tail rack. And I would say go ahead with I mean engine guards and uh, crash guards. I guess you can go ahead with any other local vendor also. But uh, mind um, go ahead with the ones which has good quality because I have seen a couple of crash bars which are not of good quality as in when once it falls it directly bends and directly damages the radiator or the engine so uh, buy the one which has uh, good sturdiness and protects your engine hand guards um, I would prefer go ahead with the bark busters only that's a quick thing about the accessories which I have on my bike I've done research um, and brought them one by one I didn't go ahead and day one itself I accessorized everything and all I didn't do that way even I would suggest you uh, whenever you buy a bike ride that bike without any accessories for at least 1000 to 2000 kilometers and know the feel of the bike how it is and later on based on the necessity start adding the accessories whichever you feel are uh, useful that way you will get a hang of the bike and you will not lose the original feel of it that's about the accessories see you guys in the next video subscribe to the channel hope you like the video uh, thank you for watching have a good day bye